Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing my empties video, and I think it's about time. Today is Monday, which means it's garbage night for me, so it's perfect. It's a perfect time to do this, and I have off today and tomorrow, so I was able to film a Tuesday video, which is it's really nice to have a day off so early. Uh, kind of, I feel kind of spoiled, and you can hear my voice. I did get. I don't want to call it a cold. I think it's more of a sinus infection and I feel like a lot has to do with uh, being in a school and uh, I am sweating and going outside and um, I never actually feel cold but uh, changing temperatures and you guys don't need to hear about all that but I am feeling very congested and sound more nasally than usual so I apologize for that and please excuse my lack of wearing an actual outfit my parents just came back from a cruise and there was I believe a dance for St. Jude's and they brought me back this extra large uh, t-shirt um, it's way too big for me but it's perfect for relaxing and um, what it says is groove for St. Jude's carnival uh, they just went to, sorry, there was a hair in my eye. They just went to, um, they went on a cruise to Boston, Maine, and Halifax, which is in Canada. And um, I don't know if they went someplace else, but uh, they just came back and they brought me back this shirt, which I love. I love getting shirts from places. And I did, which I didn't film, so sorry about that. Again, another apology. Um, I did not film. I got rid of a lot of my t-shirts, a lot of my fun t-shirts. There was a period in time uh, that I used to order from Threadless and T-Fury every other week so I had tons of t-shirts and um, it was finally time to let them go because they didn't fit or I just never wore them I did keep a lot um, and I'm sorry I didn't film it okay let's get on with the point of this video right it's empties okay so the first thing here is the Revlon color silk beautiful color and it was supposed to be this color I did just recently use this and it died it literally dyed my hair just black so um, I mean, I like it. I love having, I wish it could be darker than black, but I mean, it's really not possible. Uh, but I really like having dark hair and I didn't mind because I, I actually had to touch up my roots because I was getting grays. Um, so this didn't work out for this color, but I mean, I, I didn't hate the results. So there's that. And then I see a bunch of hair stuff. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to blow my nose a lot. So there'll be quite a few, uh editing moments here. It's so annoying when I do my makeup around my nose and then it gets red and... <laughs> okay, next is the Tresemme Mega Firm Control Tray 2 Spray and it says number 5 Hairspray. I like this but I wasn't in love with it. I wouldn't get this again. I know a lot of people like the one that's in the green so maybe I'll try that but I just did not... It did what it was supposed to but I felt like it didn't hold my hair as well as hairsprays should. So I, no, I wouldn't get it again. I actually, uh, I didn't haul it yet, but I got the L'Oreal Elnet, a small size, because I really wanted to try that and I've heard very good things about it. I just finished the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. This is always a go-to for me. Uh, I haven't really tried a lot of deep conditioning hair masks so if you have any other recommendations because I do like this but I want to try something else uh, next is the Neutrogena triple moisture silk touch leave-in cream and I really like this I uh, I have moved on from this type of product to hair oils which I kind of like better but this is a really good one and it was a favor for a very long time but like I said I've moved on to hair oils Ooh, I feel a little bit hazy, so um, maybe this wasn't the best time to do it, but I want to get this garbage out. Okay, next is the Tresemme Renewal Hair and Scalp. Uh, it says, Deeply Nourishing Renew Conditioning Mask. And this was okay. I got it from Walmart because it was on clearance, but I probably wouldn't get it again. I'm trying to separate my 
uh, <laughs> recycling and my non. So sorry about that. Uh, I'll stop apologizing. Okay, uh, next is the VO5 Tea Therapy Smoothing Conditioner. And this isn't the best conditioner known to man, but what I like to do with uh, products that are kind of like this is to do a deep conditioning treatment that way. So I'll use a cup of, not exactly a cup, maybe half a cup of this and just leave it in my hair for five minutes and I feel like it does a really good job. Uh, oh, another hair dye. This is the Garnier Nutrice Medium Golden Mahogany Brown. And I think I mixed this with, yeah, I mixed it with this one. This is the Clairol Natural Instincts Crema Caratina. And uh, I, I really like this one. I thought this was really nice. And it wasn't harsh or anything like that. It's ammonia-free. Uh, but I, yeah, I really like this one and I would definitely get this again. I like Garnier too. That's a go-to for me. But this one I think I like better. So I'm going to save this, um, to the side so I can peel off the label. Oh, for Ava, this is the Boots and Barkley Chicken Retriever Sticks. And that's from Target. She loves these things. I get this for her, um, every couple of months or so because she, this is her favorite rawhide kind of bone. Uh, you know what? Let's continue with random for right now. Uh, this is the Pocky Cookies and Cream, and this was so good. I've been finding lately that I really have a craving for cookies and cream stuff. Not ice cream, but like cookies and cream cookies and things of this nature. This was delicioso. So good. Highly recommend that. And then I'm putting garbage on the side there. Fun place. Okay, uh, then, uh, oh, this candle I finished up. This is the Glade, or Glade, remember that commercial? <laughs> this is the Frosted Cookie Party, and if you like cookies or dessert-smelling scents, this is really, really good. I'm more of the fresh uh, laundry, maybe some flour, citrus, uh, but this is very good, and it's perfect for fall. So, um, I finished those. And uh, this is the nail polish uh, from Up and Up, which is Target brand. This is probably my favorite nail polish remover. It's really good, and you get a big size. Kind of wish I they came out with a bigger size, but this is good, and I would definitely repurchase and highly recommend that. Uh, I have mentioned these two products in my uh, declutter non toiletries if I didn't use them. And because I got a Mimi box recently that had this type of product, which is, oh, let me tell you what it is. This is, you put it on your, your legs or wherever it says you could put it on and you leave it on and then you take it off in the shower or before you get into the shower. Uh, it's an in-shower in hair removal cream. So I was going to use these, but I just didn't feel comfortable putting this on my legs. And since I had a new one, I just decided to toss these. It was time to let them go. Um, let's see what else is here. Oh, this is another kind of product like that. This is the Dwayne. <laughs> well, it's from Dwayne Reed, but it's the rubbing alcohol. And this had expired about four years ago so I just got a new one they're not very expensive and I use these for uh, just so many things that aren't even makeup related I do use it if my makeup breaks um, or you know cracks and falls on floor falls on the floor and cracks um, I like to use this to take off let's say you have a sticker um, and you rub that there's just so many things you could uh, use with rubbing alcohol that I got a new one um, then here is the AHA Milk Cleansing, and this smelled like, like you were on an island drinking a tropical drink. This smells so good. Now, I do like milk cleansers, which is what this was, but it's not my favorite thing to use, and I just want to use this up. I wouldn't get it again. It was very nice, um, just not my favorite. Uh, then here's the Maybelline Clean Express Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. Uh, I like this, but I definitely like the Sonia Keshek and the Sephora one uh, much better. So uh, this was this was good. It wasn't bad, but there's the other there's other ones that I like much better. So uh, then here 
is another cleanser. I did, I did very well with cleansers. I've just been trying to use them up and hair things. Uh, so here is the Shiseido. Now, I don't know exactly. This is a face cleansing foam. Um, and there's different types, but since it's in another language, I'm not exactly sure. But this was so nice. I even got another one because I do like these. They foam up. Uh, just, they're so gentle, but they foam up really well. And I just really like that these, they seem really gentle on the skin. And I am breaking out terribly around here. Um, which, I don't know what I'm mentioning to you. Well, yeah, um, I just, my skin has... Just around the time of the month, it's been really misbehaving, but otherwise, I feel like because I'm using gentle cleansers, my skin is doing pretty well, and other factors, of course. Uh, this is the Fair Free Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream Moisturizer, and I use this for the day, and I finally finished it up, and I really like this. I, You know, that's the fun part about Mimi Box is getting to try all these different moisturizers, um, and the fact that I wouldn't repurchase a lot of it doesn't take away the joy of getting Mimi Boxes for me. It's just a fun way to try new things, and this was definitely a nice product. If you want to moisturize, and well, if you... Okay, we are going to moisturize, right? But if you like the ones that are lightweight, um, just more watery than lotion-y, I guess, this is this was really nice. I'm describing it horribly, but this was really nice. And there's I think there's a little bit left in here, so you can kind of see. Um, just really lightweight, very nice on the skin. And that, I finished that up. Um... Oh, the Neutrogena makeup wipes. Uh, really like these, but I think I like the Kirkland ones better. I will be switching back and forth a lot. Uh, these are very nice. I just feel like the Kirkland ones have a little bit more moisture in them, um, and that makes it a little bit easier to take off uh, my makeup. Uh, here is the Clear Care Clear Care Plus contact solution this is really really good it, it is more expensive and you have there's a really f funny looking case that comes with it that you have to use every time you get a new bottle um which i don't like so much but it does do a really good job and i think i'll use this every once in a while um because it is a very good oh there's my recycling has gone on the floor that's okay uh um Next is the Expert Sensitive Light Moisturizing Lotion. I had mentioned this in a product updates where I, if you have sensitive skin, like ultra sensitive skin, more sensitive than my skin, which my skin is so sensitive, uh, this is really good. This is uh, very lightweight. It's oil free. It just feels like pretty much nothing when you put it on the skin. And I, I would like a little bit moisture than that. So what I started to do was, cause, because this is a huge size, it's 6.7 ounces. So what I did was I used it to moisturize my body and it went pretty quickly after that. But even so, I didn't finish it all the way. Um, I just didn't love it for the reasons that I had said before. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let me get a move on. Okay, uh, this is one of the eBay brushes that I got that was pink that had a pink handle, but I don't know if you can notice, all of the hairs are coming out, so I'm not even playing around with that. I brush the hairs all over my face, gets irritated, I let it go. Uh, I'm letting this go as well. This is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. Uh, I just, I don't love it, and I had gotten a Lush box, which... Uh, for my friend, it's this is kind of the same thing, but it's newer, and this I've had for years and years, and it's time to let it go. <laughs> How many of you are sick of that? And I'm getting rid of these lashes from NYX. Uh, I don't, I would give them away, but I don't really know anybody who would wear these. I had gotten this when NYX had this crazy sale going on a long, long time ago. They're just too out there for me, and. I would say hold on to it for Halloween, but I'm trying to be more realistic with myself. I'm not going to wear those for Halloween either. And I, I, look at this. I got so many, I had two. Okay, uh, I finished up. Here are two of the Intuition 
a sensitive core, which I get mine from, uh, what's it called? Costco, they sell you, let's see, it's 12 blades, plus you get a razor each time, which I kind of wish they sold the razor separately sometimes, uh, but it's $27. And if you go to Walmart or, you know, a drugstore, they charge you for three, I think it's like $9 or $12. So you do the math. It's just so incredible how much Costco charges you in a good way. It's just... I love it, and uh, hopefully they won't catch on that they're uh, giving you 12 blades for and a razor for $27. Okay, I have a bunch of hair masks. Uh, this is the Gila Natural Mask. She finished that, and then we have the SMP marine collagen wrinkle free essence sheet mask i like this one i love the packaging i, I mean who doesn't like pop arts uh then i want to talk about this this is the prestige snake i'm sorry it's skin prestige snake mask sheet and this was so nice this is from a mimi box as well as the one i just showed you the pop up pop art one and this thing was so interesting i used this twice but it's a different material usually they're kind of um, I don't want to say cotton, but it's, this just was kind of a silicone-y, um, feeling, and I really, really like this one. If there's ever a deal on it, I might consider getting something like this from Mimi Box. Um, I think we're done, almost done here. Yeah, the other things I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is something kind of fun. This is the Talenti Gelato Caramel Cookie Crunch. And this, I love Talenti. Uh, you can find it at Target. I think I've seen it in other places now too. And I've mentioned this before a long time ago. I'm not really an ice cream person. I think I like gelato more than ice cream. But even besides that point, I don't really eat ice cream that much. Because I don't think I'm lactose intolerant. But sometimes I feel like I am. Um, but this, if I were to eat ice cream, this is my favorite. Uh, this one was really, really good. And I highly recommend it. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you trying this because it is so, so good. And it's a treat um, for yourself. Now, they have, what's funny is they have, this is, I think, the normal size. But this, sometimes they'll, like, have the extra large one. And um, there is a big, it's a big tub. Um, but yeah, this is really good and I want to share that with you and I think that's it. Now my next couple of videos I want to, um, I think it's going to be a product updates because I've got, I've used lots of products that I want to share with you guys and update you on and a haul. I have, um, the haul is going to consist of things that I feel like I needed, um, for work and for um, just things that I picked up that I was interested in and a couple of clothing items. So that should be a fun one. I hope you guys are all doing well and hopefully I won't sound like this the next time that I see you. And yeah, I hope, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys are all doing well and I appreciate your support. I will talk to you soon. Bye.